it's starting to get cold winter is definitely coming and me and my girls are going to show you how to make a delicious roasted butternut squash with a yogurt sauce and a little bit of pine nuts just to finish it off. i love you i didn't say honey water are we okay no let's go Whenever we cook together, the girls are always super excited. Thankfully, they're equally as patient because best believe we take a few takes. Cutting open the butternut squash is not a job for little people. I always take off the ends, cut it in half, and then it's time to scrape the seeds. Thankfully, scraping the seeds is for little people, especially considering that my two think that they can do absolutely everything themselves because they are, quote, big girls. Make sure that your knife is sharp when you're doing this. And I should also mention that this would also work with pumpkin. Whenever I'm cooking, I always have a bag or a container just to put all of the trash in. If you're just using it for vegetables, it's an easy way to make this into a beautiful stock. But if it's for any non-organic matter, it's just nice and easy to keep your kitchen clean. Next, I make even slices all the way down my butternut squash. I find it easier to make uniformed cubes this way. Again, not a baby's job, even the big girls. I eat most of my vegetables with the skin on and squash is no different. There's always some added minerals or vitamins in the skin and if nothing else, it is giving us fiber, which most of us are not eating enough of. Once I've got my cubes, I leave the girls to put it into the bowl and they themselves will get involved in the seasoning. Papa, vu, vu, vous êtes jumelles tout le temps. Pour le reste de ta vie. Check out those knife scooping skills. I finally chop my garlic and then throw that into the bowl. I feel like sumac is an underutilized spice. It brings citrus vibes in the best way. Smoked paprika is involved in nearly everything that I cook. Okay, and this was the first time the girls were pouring the oil by themselves. I think they did a pretty good job. From an early age, we're getting their seasoning on point. I'm not sure what inspired them, but apparently a kiss was gonna make it taste even better. When the squash is roasting, it's time to make that yogurt sauce. Tu peux tenir avec l'autre main, papa. Oui, exactement. Et frotte, frotte, frotte. It's really that simple. Now let me show you how to make your food look beautiful right at home. I'm not sure what inspired me to get all artsy, but the girls were taken by surprise. Uh, why is this little girl stealing my sauce? I want you to remember the next time you're plating that very rarely is just sauce on the bottom of the dish going to be enough. A sprinkle of parsley for a pop of color. Didn't think it was necessary to show you how to toast pine nuts, but my advice is keep your eye on the pan because they go quickly from toasted to bun up. Look at this stunning side dish. It is vegan, it is gluten-free, but most importantly, it tastes delicious. The smell of the spices draw you in. The pomegranate has that pop of color, but it's also gonna give you texture with those beautifully toasted pine nuts. My girls literally cannot wait to get stuck in, so I hope that you try this one at home. Ali. I can eat it. Oui. Oh, okay. I can eat both. Okay. Mm, it's good. Mm. 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 Mm.